Hello to my Virgo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of December 20th through the 26th. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, Virgo, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's get into the reading. First card, Major Arcana card, The Lovers. Next, Major Arcana card, The Moon. And The Eight of Swords. Oops, sorry about that, Virgo. Hit the equipment. Well, I feel like maybe past issues, experiences, or possibly mistakes are kind of resurfacing for the holiday week. So I'm really picking up kind of the need for a healing energy this week, Virgo. Also kind of the eliminating of control. Possibly in regards to the holiday this week where kind of like where things should be held, how they should be done, those type of things. Kind of relinquishing the control of that. Letting someone else take the reins is what I'm picking up. Or this could be that somebody already has and that might be kind of the difficulty. All right, Virgo, so you have not one but two major arcana cards. So it's an indication that there's some change coming in this week. Maybe a turning point for you could be that you've always been the one that has the holidays at your home. And maybe due to the circumstances, it might be somewhere else this year. And that can be like where you're not having 100% control over everything. You have the major arcana card, the lovers. This has everything to do with choices and decisions being made, certainly in regards to relationships, people around you. And the angel here up above, his message is coming down from the divine. So this is guidance, messages coming in for you this week, Virgo. Maybe how to handle like uh, what you know is going to be an upcoming situation. Now, the lover's card is Gemini's card in energy. So the characteristics with this energy is one where it's like independent, very free, very communicative, but can be very persuasive. So there could be a situation with family or friends, maybe in regards to some of the people that are coming over for the holiday, where you might have made some choices or decisions that were perceived not in the best light, you might say. The lover's card is in regards to choices and decisions that we make or we've made in the past. And it's kind of an indication here to, you're going to have to take responsibility and ownership for the choices that you have made. So there's something that needs to be addressed this week. It's probably going to surface or it could be something that's resurfacing. The lover's card is trying to come to that compromise, having the cooperation, especially since this is an energy that's concerning like the important people around you. So let's pull a clarifying card for the lover's card, see what additional information we can get. But definitely there's some messages, there's some divine guidance trying to get through to you this week, Virgo. Okay, we have another major arcana card, temperance. So it's an indication you need to change, Virgo, and temperance is a card of compromise. So definitely there's going to be maybe some give and take, some compromise, in regards to maybe your choices or decisions. This is definitely like a topic that's going to be coming up this week, Virgo. Now your next card, 
Major Arcana card, the moon. Definitely can be someone hiding something from you or you're the one that's doing the hiding from everyone. So you're feeling a bit uneasy, not sure of how things are going to go. Definitely a card to really examine everything from all sides before taking any kind of action. And it can also be an indication to keep some things hidden for now. At the start of the week is the 20th, so we just had a full moon. So it's like a new cycle beginning again. So that's what I'm picking up for you, Virgo. So actually, it could be something that has been working behind the scenes. Maybe you've been thinking about it, talking about it. Something that maybe the people around you aren't aware of yet. Something that you're keeping from them, Virgo. And it certainly could be like I'm really picking up, this might be like in regards to one particular Virgo that this is going to resonate with. But for some reason, my guides are pushing this at me. This is like the third time they keep pushing this vision where you're downsizing Virgo. So you're not going to have the big house anymore where everyone comes over for the big dinners. You're downsizing, making things easier for you. And that's really not going over too well with the family. So that's just a particular message and vision that my guides were giving me. And that can be what the cards are all about this week. So there could be something that you're hiding from the rest of the family. Let's say you might be downsizing. And as I said, or moving. And for some of you, you might be retiring. I'm really picking up a more mature Virgo energy here where you're making some life changes for, you know, your later years, retirement. So that's why you could be moving out of the big house. <laughs> Not jail. <laughs> I always think of the big house, you know, the house that everyone grew up in. You're going off into something much, much smaller. So moving possibly further away where your family, it's like just, they're just so surprised by this. So that's where I'm picking up like this apprehensiveness and kind of gl gladly, yes and no, handing the, the reins over. It's almost like passing it down to maybe your eldest child or passing where the holiday dinners will be taking place. You're kind of stepping down from that. So yeah, definitely getting a more mature Virgo reading here. And it's not easy for you. But it is something that is taking place. It's happening. So let's pull a clarifying card for the moon card. But the moon here is all about your intuition, your subconscious, and of course, you know, things that are hidden, secrets. And usually when the moon card shows up, something is going to come out like in divine timing. So let's see if we can get a clue here. <laughs> the eight of wands and they're shooting off. Whatever you're hiding, Virgo, that might be coming out this week. Maybe at a inopportune time, somebody's going to spill the beans. Because the Eight of Wands, it's something that's taken off. And I feel that you're going off to, you're going off to something. So for the more mature Virgo individuals, I feel you're taking off. You're, yeah, you're taking off your, um, it's, it's how it's feeling to your family where you're like taking off, you're going into a smaller place, something easier for you to handle and to a new area. Now for others, this is again something that you're kind of hiding. You're waiting to hear news in regards to maybe a job. It might be something that's in another state, possibly even further. So you're going to be taking off. You're going to be traveling, moving someplace away from the family. So I'm just getting this sense of, wow, all, all coming together. 
This might be like the last Christmas where everyone's together because everyone's going off in their own directions, taking advantage of how the world is, the opportunities that are like coming into play. And I do see a lot of downsizing, trying to get rid of like added expense, so moving to smaller places. And yeah, this is information that's almost like unstoppable. So what's put into motion here, yeah, that's going to happen. That's the energy of the Eight of Wands. Now your last card here, I feel, is how you've been feeling, Virgo. This is the Eight of Swords where you might have felt maybe overburdened, obligated, restricted, kind of trapped in your current surroundings. And this is where the downsizing begins. This can be in reference to where you live. This can be in regards to what you've always done for the traditions within the family. And I just feel like for the more mature Virgos, you're like passing the baton down to your kids where now they will host the holiday dinners. Yeah, there's specific messages coming in, but this is a card of like wanting to get out of feeling this way. All of the obligations and burdens, all this could be in regards to even a job that you have. Maybe you want to go to something simpler. Again, for the more mature Virgos, this could be leaving a career, maybe taking a simpler job or even just part-time. This card here is ruled by Jupiter. So it's kind of stirring up the knowledge, being open to the idea of like going to a smaller home, maybe an easier job, an easier commute. It's getting rid of what you feel is a burden to you, where you're, you feel trapped and restricted because this is bringing in the knowledge. It's bringing in good luck, good fortune. This is the Jupiter energy here. And it's also the number eight energy here of abundance. Good luck, good fortune. So you're moving in the right direction. Taking off that blindfold and seeing, what am I doing? So let's pull a clarifying card for the Eight of Swords. But this is something that's really going to benefit you, uh, Virgo. But it might not be going over too well with relationships around you, your choices, your decisions that you're making. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's something new coming in, definitely. Could be a, a new idea, a new opportunity, a new job, a new place to live. You fill in the blanks here, Virgo. Could be any of those things. Certainly, Saving you money, making things easier for yourself. And then all you have to do is step through this archway, just open the door and step through. So it's almost like letting go of the past and how things were, and you're moving into something new. You're trying to move towards simplifying your life, your lifestyle, and certainly that's going to help out your finances and your budget. So young or old Virgos, you're stepping into something new here that's making your life easier. Now, your numerology for your three tarot cards is number 32, which actually reduces to five. And there's the difficulty. Your numerology is an indication with this difficult number five energy, things are going to be shaken up. You're breaking old habits, traditions. You're wanting to change things up. And once you get the ball rolling and you get started, you're going to be so glad you did, Virgo. So again, this can refer to moving house, changing jobs, moving to a new city, all in the name of simplifying your life getting rid of what feels like a burden to you, which can be a huge home when maybe there's only one or two of you living there. Kind of a huge decision. And you have not one but two major arcana cards, so there's definitely, it's representing some kind of life event coming in, a big change. And it certainly might not be popular with the people around you. 
Now let's take a look at your last tarot card here, which is pulling like your tarot card meaning all together. Oh, and the Five of Swords. Well, the Five of Swords is what I was picking up, that kind of energy for the week ahead, where there's going to be discussions, um, arguments, different viewpoints, opinions, because there's some kind of decision or choice, maybe more than one that you're making at this time, Virgo. Certainly can be in regards to love relationships. It can be in regards to your job, your career, your home, moving, downsizing. I keep picking up that word, downsizing. So Five of Swords is like an Aquarian energy, like winning at all costs. But it's in the fact that you've kind of already made the decisions, Virgo. So you're kind of moving ahead with your plans. That's what the Eight of Wands here. You can't stop that motion once it gets going. So the Five of Swords showing up can be getting in an argument, possibly where you're saying things you really don't mean. But now that you said it, you can't take it back. It can be that you might be giving into something where maybe you're leaving like a relationship that was not for your health and well-being, but it might have been on the abusive side and you're kind of keeping it a secret, Virgo, because you don't want to hear I told you so from your family and friends. So it's that kind of winning, but in a very like secretive way. You're not exactly wanting the information to get out. You're waiting for the best time is what I'm picking up. But what I love with all this energy, Virgo, is the fact that you're doing what's best for you. You might have been feeling overburdened, too much responsibility, too much to take care of. And when you can simplify your life, you're moving. Whoops. Keep hitting the equipment. You're moving in that direction. So that's the nice thing. That's the good thing. All right, let's look at the crystal for the week ahead. Lepetalite. Dealing with your third eye and crown chakras. So it's certainly about trusting in the universe. Just staying strong and positive, standing in your own power, knowing that you're exactly where you're meant to be right now, Virgo. So really try to remove any doubts you might have about what is going on or how people will feel. The lapetalite crystal can help you to overcome any worries or reservations you have. This is the stone of transition. And that is certainly what I'm picking up for the Virgos for the week ahead. There's some news that's hidden Something that you're deciding upon, making a choice, and that could be in regards to relationships, your job, where you live, even starting a family. There is something that you're kind of keeping hidden for a reason, but this is a card indicating that it's time for this transition to occur for you, Virgo. So there's new beginnings coming in, and you can see that here with your Ace of Pentacles as well. Now, your last card is your Oracle card message from the Sacred Traveler, and you have Rejuvenating Rain. Clear the past, heal the present. This is a card of cleansing, clearing maybe the energy here with the Five of Swords. Because this is like uh, emotional wounds it's referring to. It's an indication of a release of past life limitations. So releasing what has become such a burden to you. And you might feel guilty about it. But this card is saying release it all. All is forgiven. Just move forward. Let it all go. You have to do that, Virgo, in order for new growth to come in. The old must be cleared away. So definitely indicating a time here of clearing out what doesn't serve and support you. It also refers to cleaning out the clutter too. 
And if you're downsizing, that is precisely what you're doing. An indication with this card here to use water for cleansing your energy field. And depending on where you live in the world, easiest way to do that is in the shower. But going to the ocean, um, maybe being able to get caught in the rain or run in the rain might not be a doable thing at this time of year, depending on the weather. So definitely a card to use water for cleansing your energy, relieving yourself of all the stress and worry and obligation. The guilt. Because you, it seems here your reading is all about your doing what's best for you, Virgo. And that has to be your first and foremost thought. All right. Whatever is taking place this week, Virgo, everyone will eventually understand and accept the changes, the choices that it looks like you're making at this time for your life. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy holidays, Virgo. And please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel. For private tarot card readings, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.